Evelyn's starting our chickens. What the heck? Is she gonna do... She's gonna do topside clearing to gank here. Let's get a tri-bush ward down. We should be okay, though, because Darius will probably push early. Yeah, he has the push early. Unless he plays really safe. I guess we should play more top side of the lane if she does try to gank me. Buy me a little bit more time. Yep, there it is. Should be okay. She's actually really low. I'm just gonna kill her. Get out of here. Trying to cheese me. I was ready for it, dude. I'm literally five steps ahead. Nice, and our bot lane double kills. That's a really good start. We're going to need a good start versus team comp. Actually, a really good time to go for a gank here. I got red buff for the slows. Nice. I got the auto attack in right before he flashed. Always cancel your W and get that auto attack in to, like, finish him. Because a lot of people try to flash at last second. It, it seems like a small thing on Urgot, but I actually get so many kills that would maybe get away like that. It's a really important small thing to do on Urgot. I'm going to sell Biscuit and just get a ton of long swords, man. We're going to be strong right now. It is a Darius lane, though, so we should be... We should probably be careful until I get my grinder back up. Yeah, we're playing in a diamond elo. It's a diamond Darius men. You know, he actually wins if I try to fight right here, though. If he gets five stack, he actually still wins against me. That's how much value five stack is on Darius. Whoa, he's actually going in. He might win this. Okay, never mind. We got the shotguns off. Wow, appreciate the sedge, man. Holy moly. This is nice. She's paying attention to the top waves. Don't even have to ping anything. That's pretty good farming. We almost got perfect farm there. Evelyn's bot side. This guy's no ghost. No ghost or flash. Can I kill him here? Oh, nice. We dodged his Q. I should win now. Dude, that was so nicely played. If he landed that Q, it would have been a little bit dicey to like try to run in there. Wow, this lane is kind of a slaughter, dude. Especially for a Darius lane. This is not usually how it goes. To be fair, jungle did help out quite a bit, too. 
Also, his jungle helped me out with that cheesy gank. Ghost is still down. We're fine. It's really important to, uh, like, keep in mind when he has Ghost. Because you never want to be right here when he has Ghost. He'll just run you down. I guess we're just going to solve our biscuits this game. At least we still get the mana. The 40 mana. Making the e-buffer look so easy for Stereos. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit of luck, too. I do mess it up sometimes. He wants to recall for tabbies. Looks like everyone's going to just try to camp bot lane this game. I'm surprised they haven't died. That's actually really well played by them. I've seen Evelyn try to gank him twice now. Mm, if I had Ignite, I would probably try to zone him here. Like zone him off getting back to his wave. But with Ignite on cooldown and him having tabbies, it's pretty risky. I don't want to steal her gold. I just want to take it so I get a Legend Tenacity stack. It probably would be good to share the gold, though, since it is a tank jungle. I would just feel kind of bad because she did so much work for it. I just come in at the last last second. Oh, they finally died to the Evelyn gank. Man, I feel bad for ball lane. They're literally just getting camped. I need to try to get a freeze. It's going to be kind of difficult, though. I'll just go for Cleaver here. I think that's actually better. Cleaver gives us so much more kill pressure. Oh, Academy Darius. I've never really liked that skin, personally. Darius has a lot of good skins. I'm not a fan of that one. I think Lord Darius is sick, though, man. Lord Darius, God King. A lot of people don't like God King. I kind of do. The W does get kind of annoying sounding, though, if you play it. With, like, the wolf howling. I was trying to get really far away from that... From the other minion. Because I don't want my shotguns to push. But I guess we're kind of forced to push right now. Yeah, I can't really freeze. Getting a ward on Evelyn's camp would be nice right now. Her grump and wolf is up. Maybe a little mid gank here. Or we playing up a little bit. 
Oh my god, I missed. Did she have phase rush going? I feel like she was kind of fast. Everyone's on Grump. That's nice to know. Dang, I lose out on a cannon wave for that, though. Really good play if we land ulti there, though. Dang, Darius with the uh, flank. I should have pinged that. I guess he went around this way. Actually really smart. Evelyn could be up here. Definitely need my grinder to fight this guy. Or at least I kill him. We can still trade. Oh my god, I thought I could just burst him. I think if I don't do my ulti pull, we just kill him. That's what I do there. We just go for the kill without pulling him. Well, at least I knew that play was going to happen. Makes me feel a little bit better about dying there. Nice, good kill. Our sedge is really good. I don't see too many sedges nowadays. This guy's a sedge main though, I think. Whoa, what's going on in bot lane, dude? They're diving at T2. This is a hot take, but you think Wardens is a waste of gold on Urgot, or verse Urgot on a lot of champions? Not gonna kill until level 9 anyway. Uh, I guess that's kind of true, yeah. It is hard to kill, but if somebody gets Wardens, it's like impossible to kill. I, I think it depends if the Urgot has Ignite. I think Wardens is definitely good versus Ergot, but yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Like, it is hard to... It, it's hard to kill a tank even if they don't go Wardens. So sometimes it just feels overkill. I could agree with that for sure. Like, an Orn is just really hard to kill even if he goes Tabby Rush. You guys want to hear my hot take? I was thinking about this recently since K Santi's getting reworked. I don't think K Santi is that broken. I think he's a good champion, but I don't think he's as, as broken as people think. Oh no, I needed that blast cone. Ah oh, man, that sucks. I should have went for a ward on her camp here. Maybe they'll get something out of Evelyn being topside. I gotta be more mindful of the Evelyn. Nice, that looks good. The flash auto by Syndra, nice. Love to see it. It's her first kill of the game too. The case Santi thing is mainly for pro, uh, pro play. Yeah, I think some people think like that, but I think some people think he's like genuinely broken in solo queue too. Which, don't get me wrong, I think he's a strong champion. But I would much rather play versus like, I would much rather play versus Kay Santi over Orn. Honestly, over a lot of champions. 
I'll take a case Santi over Garen Orn. Even Scion, I think, is better than him. I, I do think he has more skill expression, so if the person's really good, then it might be tougher, but I don't know, man. I swear Orn is just like way more insane than Kay Santi. It's on like another tier. I only bring that up, though, because I've been seeing a lot of stuff about K. Santi recently with that rework. I was watching this one YouTube video, and, like, every YouTube comment was complaining about how broken he was. This is a good fight for us to take. Kind of hoping she would ulti so I could get an assist. Oh, this might be good, though. Oh, dang, right when I flashed, I guess a, I had a bomb on me. I'm kind of glad my flash didn't go off in that case. Bit of an early inhib. I guess Baron will spawn pretty soon, though. Everyone's back in the game now. So, Evelyn and Ori are their win cons right now. That Ori hasn't died yet, either. Oh, I jinxed her. Nice. I gotta start saying that more. About the enemy champs. Yeah, I am kind of leaning towards Jack Show. My carries are doing well, so I think Frontline is pretty good. Double AP as well. I also think even if I go Stride, it's still going to be kind of struggle to like stick on their team comp. They have a really good team comp versus Ergot. So in that case, we'll just be a Meat Shield Frontline. I could get jumped here. Okay, that was a sick kill. We can Baron now. That's why I'm going all in. Guys, we should just Baron. Oh my god, he's jumping in. Wow, he's taking no damage. That Yumi stopped doing work. Thank you, Sedge. Chris is just leapfrogging around. I don't know if we have the damage. Yeah, we don't have the damage. Good team fight, though. I do think going for Baron was the way better play there, though, for sure. If Ezreal just peeled back. It's alright, though. At least it wasn't a throw. Oh, I gotta drop Ignite now. I did get her really chunked. We could maybe use that time to get Baron. She has to heal. Actually, she might just heal in passive. I don't know. I don't know if she's actually going to recall. I think she might have smited me, though. Oh, 
Oh my god, she almost got that. I don't think she had smite. Stara coming in clutch. I can go for a grinder pretty soon here. I don't know if I can land it, but... Ooh, nice. Good stun. Ooh, landed it. Nice. Into the grinder. Beautiful snipe. The snipe into surrender. GG. It's actually been a little bit since I played versus Nair. Kind of glad not many people are playing this champion, to be honest. I don't feel like Nar's that strong of a champion. He's just kind of... He's really good at being safe and just surviving. That's his strength. Wow, bone plating on Nar. When does the season end? I think... I think in January, I'm pretty sure. Also, they're not doing a preseason next season. That's going to be so nice. Wow, this guy started call. He's not farming very good, though. We got 16 to his 11. Hey, how's it going, Mac and Beats? Have you dropped the K-Santi yet in preparation, or are you going to try to play through the nerfs? I know you're a big K-Santi player. Dude, I've been thinking about it, though. I, I think the K-Santi changes are actually pretty good. I know you're kind of upset about them, but I actually... I feel like the W-Tap thing is kind of broken. I'm kind of glad they're getting rid of that. It's so hard to counterplay against that. I can see why K Santis are upset though, because like it is skill expression. So maybe if they could find a different way to give it him skill expression where there's a little bit of counterplay still, I think that would be good. This could be a good time to gank right as this Mega drops out. Ooh, kind of a rough trade. I'm kind of baiting, though. It's fine. I have fleet. Calculated. I'm glad he listened to my ping there. That's such a good time to gank right as this Mega drops. I'm assuming he probably already ported. Dang, I was going to go Cole, but I actually think we should just go Tabby Rush right now. It's too good versus Nar. Can do Tabby refillable here. That's such a good buy for first back. Tabbies are nice, not only for the armor, and like he's pretty much all auto attacks. His W does a little bit of magic every like third proc, but he doesn't really proc that too much. But also just for the movement speed. Dude, I can't, I can't do that. You gotta go through river. That only works if I got flash or like the Nars really playing into it. This is a really good lane so far though. We're also running fleet, so we're gonna be a lot stronger late game. Well, not a lot stronger, but we're going to be like 
a lot safer. The nice thing in this matchup when he goes Mega, you can use your E to uh, buffer his W and his ult too. Oh, I should have W'd that one. The E buffers are so nice in this match though. Oh my gosh. It's not letting me ward. It's gonna go for a quick trade there if we landed the Q. This guy just perma pushes. Which is honestly not a bad strat with how many I'm missing. But we still have a CS lead on him, surprisingly. Oh man, I can't trade with him now though because he has Mega. I'll try to fight back on the push a little bit. Ooh, that's bad. He should have went for an ulti there. Because that right there wasn't an e-buffer. I was just eating away and he still got me with the W. That would have been a really good time to ult me. He wouldn't kill, but he would chunk me out pretty good. I gotta get a shotgun here. It's kind of hard to farm with the... It's hard to farm under tower with Tabby Rush. Briar top lane. I think she has a lot of rough matchups. I've seen some people pop off with her, though. Like, she's playable. I think the matchups are just super tough. I know Urgot completely counters her. Wow, again, this guy should have went for the ulti. He's really safe. Which is nice. Oh man, I have to back now. Kind of a good time to back anyway on the cannon wave though. We'll get some damage going. I like Stridebreaker first against Nar. I think just movement speed and sticking to this guy is everything. Guy has a weird playstyle, though. I guess just call into power farm. Oh, this could be a kill. His flash is still down. I'm gonna save my. I'm gonna wait till I have Q to slow him a little bit. Maybe I can just save my ulti. Okay, well, I could have saved it, but we'll send a message, I guess. Toss him into the grind, eh? Dude, he, I feel like he was legit 1 HP there. I could not see an HP bar. He says, actually scared. <laughs> Is he saying I'm scared or he's scared? I don't even know. I feel like he's playing this lane scared, but I'm not sure. I'm just going to recall here. This is a good time. I wish I had enough for Axe, though. Could sell my refillable. It's probably worth it. The 10 movement speed is really nice right now. It's also when you attack a unit, so I can attack a minion and then kind of run at him to get in range. Actually helps a lot for engaging right now. The better AP Bruiser, more to Rumble. I think Rumble's better right now. Rumble's insanely strong. Mort isn't bad for like 1v1 though.
If we get a gank here, I can kill him super easy with E-Flash. Oh, that's right. Our Flash is on the same timer. Yeah, Rumble's just insane. Every, like, pretty much every time I play Versat Champ, I lose. Is this honey fruit about to spawn? It kind of looks like it wants to. Needs a little bit more time, I guess. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't walk through this way. I should have went around. I wanted to get my fleet proc on him. That's too risky. Whoops a daisy. I should not walk through that way. That's such a that's always such a bad spot to walk, man. You either die or get chunked out. And your buddy, thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate it. Unstoppable. Dang our silence is popping off. Rest of the team is kind of struggling. The crazy thing about Rumble, though, is I feel like a lot of players don't... I mean, it's not even like they don't know how to play versus him, but they don't respect him. Mordekaiser is, like, kind of an easy champ to respect. Sometimes you respect Rumble and you still just die, I feel like. Oh, he got a Triforce now. Oh, that's awkward. Oh my gosh, happy feet. We're doing it. Holy moly, dude. I don't think he landed a single Q on me. Also, fleet is so clutch right now. That definitely saved me. That definitely saved me against the Nar. Holy moly, we're out of here, dude. <laughs> Nar says report jungle. It's not his fault I got the happy feet. Should probably go Sterak second. Actually, maybe Cleaver second is better here. Normally versus most range champs, you go Sterak second, but Nar's actually kind of tanky. So I think Cleaver second might be better. Fleet feels good against Nar. I agree. It feels really nice. Anytime I've gone PTA, you can't even really proc it much in this matchup. He just has too much kiting. After that Mega runs out, I'll try to kill him. Let's try to get him to proc his Mega here, and then we can just wait it out. Dang, that wave clear in Mega, though. It's actually so much harder to tank out waves on Urgot when you don't have call. That makes such a difference, man. Stop calling him up here. I'm not calling anybody, dude. What is this guy on? I'm just playing my game. Oh, he's so mad after that grinder, dude. All chatting and then he gets grinded. Stridebreaker first, yeah. I do Stridebreaker first versus pretty much every range champ now. Because versus these range champs, you just need to get in range and like stick to them. 
That's how you win a Zergot. It's just harder to do that with Cleaver. Oh, the wall's such a counter, though. Oh my gosh, he actually turns that. Well played. He actually is pretty farmed up right now. The Kraken Rush. Urgot, you're horrible. <laughs> He's 0 4 0, dude. Why is he so mad? I don't understand. I haven't said anything, man. I feel like Urgot Grinder just tilts people. Which, to be fair, like, it is probably the worst way to die in League. Or at least up there. Whenever a Silas steals my ulti, it always feels so bad getting tossed into the grinder. We can just TP for this. We can force. Dude is playing Nar, too. It's actually a good champ for Sergot. That's what makes it funny. Oh my god, that's what I was waiting for. He held his windwall for so long, I was trying to wait that out. I just have to try to fight for the death there. Or fight to the death. Yeah, their Ezreal's really fed. Our bot lane hasn't really got anything going. Or mid lane either. It's just me and Silas super fed. Once I get Cleaver, my damage will really spike, though. Oh my gosh, I never placed that control ward. I'm so bad at placing control wards because I usually don't buy them. TP bot lane is interesting. I can I can go bot here. I guess she wants farm. I guess we're going top lane. Also, Von Drieger, thank you for the prime, man. Appreciate the sub, dude. It's better if I go versus Nar right now, but... Oh, we're actually like one minion off 13. This guy probably has backup. Maybe not, though. It is a Yasuo player. Oh, he definitely has backup. Oh my god, that's so close, actually. If I can just kill the Ezreal there, it's such a big shutdown. I knew that was kind of high risk, but so close. If he wasn't mega fed. Man, I never see Aphelios' do good. I don't like that champion on my team. I feel like he's a good champion, but I feel like he... Is he just hard to play or something? Because I never see them do good. Which, to be fair, this guy's not doing that bad. Like, I don't want to be too harsh. I'm just saying, though, man. I never see that champion pop off. At least in lane Fizz. His team fights are pretty good, though. We gotta find a way to get next drag. Are you joking? Dude, this guy just... We should just camp the Dar, man, actually. This guy goes so far out in the lane and then just dies in all chats. Those type of top laners are the funniest. Honestly, though, that's not a very good play by my team. We just give them free Baron. Oh, if I got a speed boost there. Nice prediction on his dash, though. I could tell he wanted to go for that. He made it kind of predictable. Careful, Silas. I 
Oh, he blocked out my E. That's honestly pretty good still. That's actually really good. I feel like going chains on Ezreal might be the play this game, right? Because he has a bunch of armor pens, so buying a bunch... I mean, buying armor is still going to help, but it's not going to help that much. I think chains might be more value. Pretty good game for HP, too. They don't have, like, too much percent HP. Eh, they got a little bit, I guess. There's always a little bit in the game, though, I feel like. Hopefully we can get this Dre again. That's going to kind of decide the game right now. Oh my gosh, if that landed. We got to make our way in as a team here. Everything's warded, though. You got to be so careful. Especially with them having a Thresh hook. We need to walk in, guys. Okay, nice. That looks good. What the heck? Did he flash? That looked really goofy. Oh no. Whoa, nice. I think that wins us the fight, maybe. I have my E for his ulti. We're fine. Nice. Good play, guys. Dude, the E on Ezreal is so clutch. I love that interaction. If, if somebody has a blink, your E always flings them back on Ergot. You can't buffer the Ergot fling. I don't know why it's like that. It's only on blinks. Like, if somebody dashes, they can buffer it. But, yeah, not for blinks. All right, we got the core build done. Baron in 240. I guess I'm going top here. I guess it's fine to go top with Baron off the map. If Baron was on the map, I would want to go bot here and be like ready to TP. Maybe I can snipe him. I kind of want to snipe this guy just to like tilt him a little bit. Oh my god, we got him, but it's not low enough. Dude, that would have been so good. I wonder how he healed a little bit. Gosh, that Ezreal hurts, man. I hate how that grudge makes his Q slow, too. That's so good. It's like a frozen mallet. Well, hopefully I'll have something at port, too. If there is a fight. Okay, this is looking like a decent angle. If anything, we can run down mid and try to force here. Pick on Ezreal is super good. That guy's most of their damage. Ooh, he should have saved that Gnarl, too. Oh my god, I can't even see that wind wall. Oh, he's trying to lifesteal. Oh, it's not enough, though. That's still a good fight.
Well, that fleet heal is nice on the towers, too. Maybe we can do something here. Nice. Getting his flash is really good. Ori should have backed me up there for sure. It's okay, though. That makes the next team fight way easier to win with his flash down. What's my fleet heals? Right now, 3.4k. pretty good it starts really ramping up around now I'm sad they're gonna nerf fleet soon I think it'll still be it's I think it's still gonna be good in matchups like this where like PTA is not very good but they're actually nerfing fleet pretty hard decently hard rune is kind of busted though right now should still be okay Yeah, I saw the PTA n nerf as well. I think the PTA nerf is pretty tiny, though. I think PTA is definitely still going to be good. It looks like they're nerfing, like, everything across the board. They're nerfing a bunch of the other runes, too, aren't they? I don't have teleport for a little while. Kind of sketchy to get a bot lane right now. But I guess the focus will be on drag. They could trade Baron for us getting Dragon, though. It kind of seems like that's what they want to do. Yeah, they're going to trade Baron. It kind of sucks because we have to get Dragon. With Nar being bought, maybe we can make it, but they do it pretty fast. Yeah, they do it so fast without Nar, they do not need him. We could try to team fight here, though, at least, maybe. God, nice Nar ulti. I got nothing for that, though. I was hoping that Aphelios was running heal. Too bad you can't use chains while you're dead to just have it stack in. It's how we should have played that, is we should have just had one person, like, one or two people do drag and have the other people, like, around mid lane and ready to rotate on Baron. In hindsight, that's how we should have played that. I think last item we'll just get Randunes. It's really cheap. Definitely need a little bit of armor. Actually, Stone Plate would be kind of good too. Because their only crit user is Yasuo. Yeah, Stone Plate might actually be better. It's just kind of expensive, but this game will probably go on long enough for me to get it. Hey, thanks for the 19, by the way, Jabber Crab. It's going pretty good, man. Hope everything is good with you. We can't really go in on this, dude. My chains is stacky on Ezreal, so it would be nice to get that fully stacked before we fight. Be really nice right now. They still have Baron on a few people, too. It. 
If we get a good pick, though. Ooh, if that E landed. Ezreal would probably E the Gnar ulti, though, to be fair. Yalcio's level 17. He's 1 and 8, but he's just so power farmed, I guess. You love stone plate for the active versus Karthos? Yeah, that's true. Or if I get like Yasuo ulted or something. Looks like my team is winning the fight. This guy is so fast. Nice, got him. Juicy snipe. I think we just push mid, right? Should be an in him at least. This guy's gonna try to backdoor mid. Hopefully Silas wins the 1v1. Oh, nice. I think they kill him, actually. Nice. Good call. I wonder if we can end. Can definitely try. It's going to be close. I think with Ori TP, we got it, though. Nice, dude. GG. Victory. It's a really good thing me and Jungle won our lane because it gave time for our carries to scale. It's actually really nice. That was really good for an Arlen. Twenty seven K damage, our fleet healed four point six K. Man, two K healing on second win too, that's huge. Alright, we're up against the Diamond Three Cled. And he's also going Ignite. This lane will be kinda scary early on. I usually go Tabby Rush and Cled. They also have AP jungle, which makes that a little bit worse. It's still worth doing, though, for sure. It's just nice when your tabbies also kind of, like, counters out their jungle. Does Kled cleanse the grinder when he dismounts? Uh, yeah, he does. Your grinder doesn't kill him if he's on his mount. So it's good if you can try to dismount him first. I saw him peek out of this bush. He's going to try to force the early game. I think this matchup gets good at level 6, and then level 9 it gets really good. But until level 6, it's really hard. You really just want to try to not throw against Kled early on. Dodge out his Qs, try to cut him out. Don't really E in for trades too much. You want to use E defensively. Because the thing is, even if you dismount this guy early on, you can't really kill Mazurgot. He's going to remount against you and just... It, he's going to bait you in. I've learned that the hard way. We'll use our W here just to kind of keep this wave thinned down a bit. I would like to keep it right outside the tower here. If I can dismount him and then hit him with an E and get a bunch of shotguns, we have a, a slight chance to kill. Or if I get a gank here. 
He is looking pretty gankable if I keep the wave here. Really important to knock over an E there. He's trying to bait it. I'm kind of walking into a few of these keys, to be honest. But as long as you don't get pulled back, they don't really do that much damage. Well, the funny part is you actually can you can get a grinder when he's on his mount. It's a really rare interaction, but it's happened to me before. Because he can be under 25% HP when he's still on his mount. Oh, dang. I should have went for a shotgun on the cannon. Okay, looks like Elisa's here. I kind of hope that Zach just kind of hovers me right now so I can fix my wave. Okay, nice. We don't have enough for tabbies, but... I think that's okay. We can do, like, coal, cloth armor. It's such a good time to back right now. Clud's wave clear is pretty slow early on, so I don't think he's going to get this wave pushed in. It might be a stupid question. Any idea how to get better with actives? You almost always forget about them. Um, I don't know if I have advice for that one. Maybe somebody in the chat has advice. I'm not sure. I kind of feel like it's something you just have to think about more, but I feel like you probably already know that. I think you just have to get used to building them, maybe. I hope he doesn't remount. Wow, very nice look there. We're going to share a lot of XP, but it's okay. Oh, wait, he actually does have TP. That's right. He's going to ignite TP. Well, I guess I'll do another back then. That was a really nice uh, time to look for a gank, though. I didn't even have to ping anything there either. Oh, yeah. Placing your active on a... Unlike the easy key to access is a good one. Like, personally, I always move my stride breaker to the two key, so that kind of helps me remember. Sometimes when I don't build stride, I'm still pressing my two key, or, like, refillable as well. I'm just, like, spamming my two key. Even when I don't even have the item. Whoa. Am I dead? I have to flash his Q there. Oh, dang. He used his E. That was smart. All right. Well, we got his Ignite. That's pretty good. I still have my port, too. As long as I just don't die right now, we can always port back. He's definitely going to remount if I try to go in. Oh, I'm dead, probably. Yeah. Uh, at least Fled is, like, one of the best dive combo. It's actually the best dive combo in the game, I'm pretty sure. Because when Kled demounts, he loses turret aggro. And then Elise can also use her E thing to lose it. So, like, either one of them can tank. 
And then again, I have to rush Tabbies, which doesn't really help much against the Lee, so... It's just such a good combo for them. This will be pretty good if we get Drake, though. I don't mind dying for a Dragon. Elise is still here. Well, I definitely don't want to die now because they got the Rift Herald. They're probably going to go mid lane, though. Well, I definitely went for a recall. Let's get this wave fixed. I do not want to be up in this lane. Because I think Elise will try to gank here, like, as he gets back. Nice. This is really good for a Kled lane. One more level to go, then we can start playing more aggressive. I'm actually a little bit surprised that uh, that was their first dive on me. Because this combo is so good at diving. Oh, nice. He used his E. I'm going to wait till he dismounts here. Then we use our E. Whoa, this is bad. I'll try to just run here. Okay, wow. Zach actually lives. This guy's a beast. That looks so bad to me. I don't know how he lived. I think our Vlad can hopefully clean this up here. Zach has passive. Oh my gosh. I, I was ready for that, but it actually almost got me. Holy moly. Well played. I was ready for him to do something crazy, but I think he flashed actually, didn't he? Thought he was going to E in. Party in the top lane, I guess, this game. Fall lane's actually looking chill. Only one kill on either side. All the action has been top side. This is so good, actually. He's going to go Ravenous. I wonder if I should get a Bramble. Bramble's okay this game. I don't know if it's really needed, though. That was pretty greedy of me. At least it's kind of topside, too. Shut down. Oh my god. I dodged the Q. Dude, my life flashed before my eyes. I thought he was going to land that Q. I think it's too risky to push. I want to, but I think that at least will kill me. I know, I kind of like the action pack games too. It's, it's nice on Urgot when you can actually outplay them too. Like, yeah, you do kind of want to chill pre-9, but every once in a while, if you play better, or, like, your jungle plays good, you can still outplay people. That is one thing that I actually really love about Urgot, and honestly, why I still stick with this champ. 
Because, yeah, he's a scaling champion, but you still have a little bit of room to outplay and still win. I always give the example if I was playing Nasus that, like, you know, I couldn't, I probably couldn't do anything this game if I was playing Nasus. I would have to just get Q stacks and scale. But, like, Urgot, you have a little bit of room for outplay. Oh, he has Ravenous now. My Cleaver is a little bit delayed since we got Tabby and Call. 1v1 might be a little bit dicey, but I'm pretty sure I still win. I don't know. He heals a lot. Probably should wait until my Cleaver. Plus, my team is on Drag right now, and I'm not seeing Elise. It's a really bad time to fight him. Okay, there she is. If your team is doing Dragon, though, and you're, you're not seeing, like, the enemy jungle, it's always a good time to play safe in top, uh, top lane. If I have the minion wave, I think I win, right? Oh, he's level 11 now. Nah, he's going to win that. Jeez, yeah. The, the level 11 there, man. He didn't even have Ignite either. Alright, Cleaver's going to massively boost my damage. I should have waited there. We shared so much XP with the Zac, I guess, this game. I shouldn't actually be down that much XP, but I guess we shared too much. It's okay, though. I think we'll kill him here for sure. Nice. I get the kill, too. Is the enemy team trying to do Shelly? Oh, they are. Alright, we should help out then. Oh, that's right. It fully resets now. They changed that a while back. It used to not fully reset like that. Don't worry, Zach. I got you. I wish I had my E for that Yoni Q, man. That probably would have been a kill. Oh, nice. I got the chicken. Am I really going to be the one that dies here? That's so sad, dude. I'm just trying to help out the team. I think I'll have enough for pickaxe by the time we spawn. Thing. That actually looked kind of promising. I guess we have to try to shut down Elise. Their Yoni's kind of back in the game, too. Yeah, that's true. The Blitz is hitting every hook. Hopefully I can get level 13 soon. Level 13, Sterex. We'll cash in our call soon. Things are going to start getting really good for me. Oh man, does he have backup? I think I win 1v1 if he doesn't. 
Oh my gosh, maybe I don't. I need a stall for E. Ah, oh, Blitz too. I can't take that. We got a kill on Yoni at least. At least our team is trading. Man, I think I would win the 1v1 there. You try to die in place of somebody else all the time? Hey, that's a true support. That's a true support right there, man. I always try to honor supports that do that. Take one for the team. I'm hoping I can TP into Dragon here. Not really a great ward, though. Alright, we're going for this one. Zach is diving in. Nice. We can play for early Ocean Soul this game, actually. Nasus gets stronger through scaling. Yeah, that's true. It's a, it's definitely 100% a preference. I just think it's something really unique about Urgot, though. Like, a lot of scaling champions really struggle to, like, skirmish and fight early on. But the fact you have a little bit of ability to do that on Urgot just keeps it so fun. Like, if I had to just stack up in lane and I could just never fight... I feel like that would get boring to me. But yeah, that's that's just personal preference. 100%. They're going to do Baron here, but I, I don't think I'd make it in time. I'm going to try to trade the tier 2. We just have to hope for like a Lux ulti steal or something. Let's get out after tower here. They got the Baron Recalls. Might still be dead. Swifties on Blitz. They don't have Mobies. We should be okay. Well, hey, two towers for a Baron. That's best I can do. Best thing I can do in that situation. I think it's okay with our scaling, but not entirely sure. Very close to tell. I'm really strong with Sterax now, though. Ooh, hopefully he can just pull out. Okay, nice. He has Flash. If that guy dies, they get so much control of the map right now. Vlad is so important. I feel like we just need that one good team fight. Oh my god, I got her. That's huge.
One for one, but we get a massive shutdown. I guess I'll go bot here. It's just kind of weird to go bot because we got all their towers, but it's good to push out the wave still, I guess. If we can somehow get Ocean Soul, it's going to be a hard dragon to fight for because I think right now they're a little bit stronger. Like, we'll be stronger in the next, like, I don't know, around, like, 30 minutes we'll be stronger as a team, I think, just off our champions. But right now the enemy team is a little bit stronger. Not enough to where we, like, guaranteed lose the team fight, though. We, if we play it good, we have a chance to win for sure. I think this guy should definitely come over to drag. Enemy team going for a pick here is really weird play. Oh, it's actually a really good play. It's really unexpected. Now it's going to be a 4v5 drag fight. Maybe Clud will stay top and we can just trade Drake for top and Hib. Oh my god, he ulted. We would have picked him with that E. Vlad's going to spawn to hopefully defend top. dude that team fight might have just won us the game actually because I'm thinking with Ocean Soul we can make a comeback here I mean I say a comeback we're actually up in kills but hasn't really felt like it maybe I can get this cannon first real quick don't want that gold to go to waste Yeah, what's up with those Holbreaker Yonis? I've been seeing that build a lot. I've actually seen a lot of that. A lot of them building that for some reason. Um, since we got Ocean Soul, I think we're going to go Spirit Visage. Spirit Visage to boost the uh, Ocean Heals. Also, my Sterak shield, my E shield, my Tram feel. It's going to boost everything. Let's make sure our Stride Breaker is on the right hotkey. I don't want to take that red since we already got one. Maybe I should take the red. I guess she can't walk in. Hopefully they don't pull me here. That was actually really sketchy. They definitely could have been in that bush. This Clud isn't sure if he wants to 1v1 now. After that Ocean Soul. They feel uncomfortable with playing uh, Glass Cannon. Yeah, I guess it's like the Even Shroud replacement. They were doing Even Shroud. Just like cheap stats. It, I guess it makes sense because Yoni's just so good as a champion, right? This guy has a Hull Breaker too on Kled. Dang, he's so good at playing around my E. 
Into the grinder. Even missed my E too, man. Urgot scales really well into Kled. Plus Ocean Soul, plus a uh, red buff. I forgot to use my Stride Breaker active, actually. Whoops. As we were just talking about that. Hey, the nice thing about Stride is like so it is it is obviously important to use, but sometimes you can uh, forget to use it and it's still okay. Compared to like a stone plate, like you definitely want to be using that. I mean, I can just dive this guy right now. Almost. Maybe I can snipe him if he stays here. Let's get out of vision. Oh, that would have been sick. I hope we don't get quite ulted. Should be okay. Oh, maybe not actually. I can definitely live for a little while. Maybe try to bait something here. This might be pretty good. Oh, dang. It's only Vlad there to follow. Last item definitely needs to be armor. I think Thornmill would be good. We need to cut their healing because they got Ravenous on Ezreal and Kled. I think our only anti-healer right now is, uh, yeah, Zach has a Thornmill. That's all we got. We still got Baron on two people. That's not too bad. Kind of a big shutdown for Kled, but Kled's not that scary at 31 minutes. I mean, he's decent, but he's not insanely scary. I think Kled definitely falls off to some extent. He can always burst your squishy still, though. But against somebody like Urgot, like, I can tank him out pretty good. Yeah, that's true. Vlad just got his death cap, though. I feel like he's been outputting a lot of damage. He just hasn't been getting the kills. This guy's in the bush. I can see the hole breaker cannon minion. Oh my gosh, dude, that's not good. I thought he was gonna Q right when he dismounted, so he would like Q into my ulti. Surprised he didn't, to be honest. I'm actually really surprised he wins that, I'm not going to lie. But we did misplay. Nice. That looks like a good Vlad ulti. Oh yeah, dude, the Vlad Kaisa. Nice. Get that Elder, guys. Oh, I don't know. I guess they can do both, hopefully. I don't think they end, though, do they? Actually, maybe they do. I have teleport. Yeah, maybe we can end, end here. Zack is just tanking with that Radiant heal.
Wow, good game. We don't even need the elder knife. I'm really surprised I lose to Clud there, even though I misplayed. I still thought I would win with like Ocean Soul too, and just scaling. I'll have to look that back on replay. Definitely giving that one to Zach though. That guy was insane. So good. Carries were good too. Oh my gosh, we had the most damage. Dang, 38.3k. I didn't really feel like I had the most damage. That's actually, I'm legit surprised. Oh my gosh, they were faster than me, dude. I was so fast. That's like the fastest I ever pinged a ward. These league players nowadays, man, they got the... They got the reaction times. Always makes me feel like a bit of a boomer when I ping a war too slow. What are some of my picks if I get auto-filled in other roles? I usually go something like pretty safe and like tanky. Like jungle, I like to play Zac. Mid lane, I like to play Swin. Um, support, I usually go, like, I used to go Nautilus. I'm still trying to find what I like for support. ADC, I usually dodge. Ooh, nice. Always wait for that shield if you can. The timeout. Mordekaiser every roll. I do sometimes play Urgot in other roles, too. I'll sometimes run the Urgot jungle. I have played Mordekaiser mid and jungle a few times as well. Because I feel like sometimes, especially in Diamond, it's better to pick something you're familiar with than like pick a meta champ. Whoa, that you actually landed? That looked really weird. I thought my E was gonna miss. Oh, she wants to freeze. I don't think we'll get ganked since it's Diana. We could get ganked pretty soon, though. I was hoping that wave would crash in in time. We could get ganked in the next, like, 10 seconds here if she's doing a full clear. Yeah, I say we just back here. She gets a little freeze, but it's only a few mages. It's not going to freeze for very long. We get a call refillable, which is pretty solid. Dinah went for the mid gank. Nice, good flash. She's good. You got auto filled support and got Mastery 7 on Urgot as support. Giga Chad indeed. Urgot supports actually, it's okay. I feel like it does catch some people off guard. I don't really want to walk up right now because she has a pretty decent XP lead. Dang, we actually can't freeze. I think it's too greedy to freeze here.
I have been having a little bit of an itch to play some Urgot Jungle. I might do that. It's been sounding kind of fun. I think Jungle is my second favorite role to play Urgot in behind top lane. I just don't like bot lane as a role. I don't like how it's like a duo role and you share XP and everything. Mid gods are right, but I feel like some of the matchups are annoying. I don't. I, I wouldn't like to blind pick it. It's really nice if you get like a Silas or something like this game. This would be a good Urgot mid game. This is actually a really good Urgot game. They got four melees. We could do some Gore Drinker action. I haven't built Gore in a little while. It is kind of a good stride game too though. I mean, Stride's always pretty good, but Gore sounds pretty fun. I don't know where Diana is right now. Yeah, Midgot versus Assassins is nice. It's just like control mages suck usually. Okay, that was a nice kill. Very nice. Does she have teleport? I can't remember. I think she does. But yeah, she does. This is good. We got the wave pushed. Right in time. I could miss out on that plate if she doesn't kill the minions super fast. Nice, she's killing the minions. That's actually a misplay. Dang, we're gonna have to use some of these biscuits. Oh wait, I'm not running magical footwear. Oh, okay, I should have gotten boots instead of ruby crystal. I thought I had magical footwear. Whoops-a-daisy. Have a good one, Flash. Take care, man. Appreciate you always stopping in. Jungle could be in our top side, it looks like. I think she probably is. I'm really safe if I keep the wave around my tower right now, though. God, that Q damage, man. I just got Cho'Gath ulted. I couldn't really play around that Q since she E'd. Guess she does use a lot of mana pool for it though. We're playing around her Q2 pretty well so far. I'm really scared of a jungle gank right now. That's what this feels like. If anywhere gets ganked right now, it feels like it's going to be me. Yeah, that's de that's she's definitely looking for a gank, I feel. Yep. Spotted. Nice, dude. We're we're respecting the jungle. Actually respecting enough there th this time. Wonderful. I've been like half respecting jungle too much. An enemy has been slain. It would be nice to push in this wave. I'm going to try to bait her to E here. 
Wow, why does she not commit to that? Dude, that E reaction was so nice. I buffered her E right there. It's not the hardest thing to do, but I, I do mess that up sometimes. When it's like a really close E like that, it can be kind of easy to mess up. Dude, this is going to be such a nice buy. We get Cleaver and Boots on the same back. Feels like Christmas morning. Let's get a Control Ward too. Why not? We got our Cleaver Spike. We're chilling in this lane right now. Game's looking pretty good too. Pretty even so far. I'm actually not sure which team skills better. I feel like both team comps are really solid. I do feel like Camille kind of outscales Zergot 1v1. Like super, super late game. But I think Urgot outscales her in team fights. And I, I think you still have potential in 1v1. Like, I think it's close. I think if she just, like, plays around her keys. If she gets, like, two or three true damage keys, then she can kill her gut. She's scared, man. How do you rate the Diana matchup? Like, if you're playing in, like, mid lane... Or just like Diana jungle. I think Urgot does really good versus Diana. She's like melee assassin, has to dive in. So you have a good chance to land ease. She does do a pretty crazy amount of damage though. Like she can definitely burst you. Oh, that would have been nice if we got that Q. Oh yeah, in mid lane. Yeah. Ergot does pretty good versus her. She's kind of... I feel like in mid lane, she's like slow to scale up too. So you can usually win early game. Camille's probably going to back here. Or she's roaming or something. Oh, she got Divine now. I think I win this. We're getting all of our shock ends. Weaver Urgot should beat Divine Camille as long as you have Ignite. Oh, he has Ignite? I might lose now. Okay. Well, hey, I'm actually kind of glad because... Uh, I tried to use my flash, but I got CC'd, so it didn't go off, thankfully. Let's go tabbies, and then we'll go... Oh, I should have placed my control ward. I guess I'll just sell this. I think I am going to do a gore drinker game, so we'll do a Sterak into gore. How's the Darius matchup? Uh, he's hard early, but Ergot skills really good into him, in my opinion. If you take Ignite, I, it makes it a lot easier. If you don't take Ignite, it's pretty hard to win. It's going pretty good, James. How are you, man? Games have been kind of weird, but... This one's going good. Rampage. Games have been really weird. We had a we played versus an Annie top last game. Your team has 
The enemy Samir got like 20 kills, but we ended up winning. She got like 26 kills, I think, actually. Are they going to send anybody to deal with me? Diana's bot. I guess Camille will probably be here. Wait, Camille's TPing. I can probably get tier 2 here. If they send ADC to deal with me, I can get a... I should be able to get a kill on her. I'm going to greed this. Let's try to save my shotguns right now. I love when the ADCs try to deal with Urgot when he has flash. It's the best. Dang, she's not really worth that much gold, but at, le at least we slow down her tempo. Pretty important on a Jinx. Don't mind me, team. Just taking Grump real quick. Wow, nice. Alright, GG. The biggest tip I can give you guys for Starius is just try your best not to mess up early. The only time I... Well, not the only time, but the main way that I lose this lane is if I mess up early. I'm only eating in there because he used his Q already. If he was holding his Q, then don't do that. Or ADC disconnected. Um, can it be a remake? Did she do damage? She was in the lane. Oh no, she's back. Dude, that's like the worst thing ever for bot land. Nice, we're out of his pull range. Whenever your E's on cooldown as Urgot and he has pull, just don't walk up. You need your E up to even have a chance to trade with this guy. I'm kind of surprised he went for that pull. I actually kind of wish I landed. The tower there, I probably could have traded back pretty good. Looks like he actually is going for a reset. First blood. Oh my gosh, our ball lane gets first blood after DCing. Oh my gosh, that'd be insane if they double killed. So right now I have to, uh, I need to stack up a big wave right now. That's the only way I can fight him. Oh man, if I get the e-buffer. Nice, Ignite got him. I maybe would have got that Q snipe if the Ignite didn't kill. But yeah, that's what you do for Darius. If you ever want to go for a back, you slow push the wave and uh, get a huge minion wave on your side. So that way you can still fight him. If you're pushing with just like one minion wave, he's probably going to win. Because his bleed is just that strong early. Nice, I tagged him for a assist here, hopefully. Nice, dude. It's a good time to roam too, because we got the wave crashed in there. 
Coal fields, boots. I'm not going to waste money on HP pots since we got biscuits. Buying HP pots just kind of sucks. I would buy refillable if I could. A little bit too long to wait, though. Well, dang, early game's actually going pretty well. I thought this was going to be a remake. Kind of glad it wasn't now. Level 6 is where this matchup starts to get pretty good. Level 9 it gets really good. Level 6 is pretty good though. If you have Ignite plus Grinder, you have a good chance to kill him. If you land everything. Mainly if you land E, because if you land E, you kind of land everything. I'll try to freeze for a ignite kill here, I'm thinking. Freezing on Urgot's kind of brutal, though. Just have to auto where my shotguns are down. I guess I can't really freeze. Maybe he'll fight me in the wave again. He seems kind of scared, though. If he just walks up like a... If he missteps just even an inch right now, I'm going to kill him. If he greets for a minion. Maybe not if he's this close to tower now, though. But if he did there a little bit ago. Let's use this time to back. I think we'll do Ruby Longsword because I want a little bit of damage. I really want to try to fight with Ignite. Oh, hey, good to see you, Wero. Looks like a passive Darius. That's new. Yeah, he's scared of my Ignite right now, I'm pretty sure. He could be kind of scared of Jungle Gank, too. Nah, we don't want to take that fight. Too many minions. An enemy has been slain. Oh, dang. Oh my gosh, I should have just queued. I thought the tower was going to go on that healthy one. And then I was going to get a gnarly queue. Tower had other plans. Rip. It's supposed to go on the minion that's the closest, but sometimes it's like so close you can't really tell. Oh, I thought he was going to fall. This might be bad. Okay, nice. At least I got the grinder. Man, I spammed two of my biscuits, but they didn't save me versus the bleed. That's a pretty good kill, though. I think I'm going to sell my D-Blade. D-Blade for Cleaver. We get level 9 on the next minion, too. I don't love to sell my D-Blade, but I think here it's worth it.
It's going to be kind of hard to find another good back time in the next, like, five minutes. It's always harder to find good back times when you run Ignite. Ignite is so nice in this matchup, though. I definitely recommend. Even if you're somebody that doesn't like Ignite, I think this is, this is like the matchup where Ignite helps the most. Oh, he, he's not ready for my Cleaver Spike. Look at that damage, man. He was not ready. Oh, I like how that Wolf leaves his body. That's cool. The God King. Yeah, Ignite really is just a hard counter to him. Like, not only does he, uh, does it counter out his Q heal, obviously, but usually they rush tabbies. So it's nice to have a bit of true damage against all the armor. Also, Darius is a champion where, like, you just want to kill him before he gets to his 5 stack. The more burst, the better. Because if he gets to his 5 stack, you're probably going to lose. So you really want to just kill him ASAP. So between my grinder and my ignite, it's so much true damage. I can usually, if I land my E, I can usually just burst him. Yeah, back in the day, I used to kind of struggle with this matchup. And then I, I teched in ignite, and it was just a world of difference, man. Now it's like one of my favorite matchups. I don't think it's super easy, but I, I do think it's a nice matchup for Urgot. But I do think there is a lot of room for air. And if you do mess up, it's kind of brutal. My jungle wants to dive. I don't know. Did we go for the dive? I was really hoping he would ulti a little bit sooner there, to be honest. Yeah, they knew we wanted to dive, though. That's a bad time to fight. Wow, this guy has 2.6 mil mastery on the Darius. I always forget it shows the mastery when somebody kills you here. Sometimes I don't even look at that. Yeah, bad time to fight, though. Whoops. Hey, good to see you, crab man. I'm doing pretty good. We have a nice little four win streak going and ranked right now. I might be Diamond 2 after this game. Depends on the LP gain, I think. But yeah, we're getting close to Diamond 2 again. Well, I shouldn't even say again. I haven't hit Diamond 2 yet this season. But it's been a steady climb. It's been a very steady climb for me recently. I've worked a lot on my lane phase. The thing that's genuinely helped me so much in lane is watching my replays. When I watched my replays, I saw so many times where I was trading for like no reason or like over trading into a minion wave. You don't really notice it or you don't notice it as much when you're like during the game. But on replay, it's so much easier to see. It's helped me a lot for improving my land. Kane has blue form now. Looks like he's topside as well. Darius is going to play aggressively here. He wants to try to bait a fight.
I want to wait for my ignite and then we can 1v2. Yeah, working on your laning is hard, man. It's so important on Urgot, though, because it's like... It's the point of the game where Urgot's just not very strong. So you really need to hold your own in lane on this champ. Or else matchups just get so out of hand once you get behind. I don't know if those minions saw me. Looks like they probably didn't. I don't know if this is a good time to fight, though. He might have backup. Yeah, dang it. Oh, why did I go back in, dude? I knew it, too. I need to just trust myself, man. That's another thing I need to work on. I, I think the issue with this has been... In Emerald, I could get away with these plays. But in, like, mid to high diamond, you have to just trust yourself. You can't, like, breed these plays. It just gets harder to outplay. But I think my brain is still used to playing in, like, high Emerald, low diamond, where you could actually greed and kind of get away with it. I honestly do feel like that affected, like, my decision making a little bit. But we're still in a good spot. It's all good. I need to shut down that Swain, though. You hate facing Darius on any champion? He's your mental counter. What's everybody's champion that their mental counter is? I said that really weird, but what's everybody's mental counter? Mine is Atrox. Which I've been just perma-banning recently. But I'm curious to see what everybody's is. Why does it show the blast cannon thingy? Just visual bug, I guess. Scion, Alawi, Atrox, Olaf. Oh yeah, Alawi. Alawi is pretty annoying. I sometimes do get against her, though. Dude, what is going on, man? These guys are following me everywhere I go. Our team is always just kind of doing random stuff, too. At least when I look at the map. Maybe not all the time, but whenever I look at the map, it seems that way. Could be pretty good. I think I go for a flank here. Oh, my whole team got nuked. Dang, Swain killed everybody. I'm not sure how we're going to deal with Swain. We don't have a great team comp to, like, burst him. Unless Samira gets kind of fed, but she's not really... She's just not strong right now. We need, like, a good Samira ulti against him. I guess bot lane did kind of tilt this game. At least it feels that way. Your brain shuts down when you're versus Olaf. I honestly kind of feel like he's like a slight mental counter for me too. I can sometimes survive against him, but it feels so hard to try to get a kill in that lane to me. If I play for kills, I feel like I always lose. If I play to survive, it feels okay. 
but yeah, if your point does survive, you're kind of you're kind of just hoping your team wins at that point, I guess. Gosh, he has his E still. We're just so countered in team fights. The Swain is too strong, and they just have so much CC for him. Honestly, don't know how we really play team fights here. I can't really burst anybody. We tried to focus the cane there, and I missed my ulti, which sucked. But honestly, even if I landed that ulti, I don't think the team fight really changes. And I do feel like we have to peel back for cane. They just got too many threats, man. Really seems to be the issue. Oh man, I tried to ward it. Wow, really? I'm just dead. He pulled me over that big of a cliff. Smear ulti doesn't even do that much damage. Dang, our lane actually went really good, too. Good old bot lane. I don't want to surrender yet, though. You can't believe the Swain beat Samira? Yeah, that's actually really weird. I'm sure that she did DC at the start, which I'm sure hurt them a little bit. But I wonder what happened after that, because they they still got a kill after that. It didn't seem too bad. It kind of looked like the Nautilus just left bot lane, and he was like tilted because Samir messed up at something. But yeah, I have no idea. A lot of bot lane and solo key is just mental. If you have that support that just tilts and just leads the lane right away, your your bot lane is just screwed. Like if he just plays lane normally, it's it's fine. I think I can 1v1 Darius here if it is a 1v1. I don't know if it's gonna be a 1v1. He might just wait for teammates. Nice, we played that really good. If they win the fight, dude. Oh my god, are they winning? Wait a minute. They're actually kind of winning. I might die for this if TF ports. I don't know if he has it. I feel like he probably does. I'll try to die for tower though, it's worth it. Nice, I got the cannon too. That's so worth. Now we get Stride Breaker here. That dude ported like 10 feet by the way. I could literally see him on my screen. I don't think they Baron Rush. They might try, though. 
They could definitely try. They don't have a very good Baron team, actually. It's a bad time to team fight, though. We do not need a team fight there. Could be okay if they get the swing. Yeah, dang, there's no reason to team fight there. It's not like they're trying to force Baron. Maybe we can actually fight here. Where did my team go, dude? I thought Aerie was with me. Oh, she got taken by the Q, though. Okay, nice. Oh my god, nice. Wait, can I get reported for uh, spam Mia pinging now? Somebody said that, but if you're hyping somebody up, that's still allowed, right? I'm trying to think about what to buy. I actually don't know. I think maybe stone plate. I don't know what's going on here, by the way. I'm trying to think about my build. Sorry that we can't see the action, but this is kind of important. Also, Jeplin, thank you for the 22 months, man. Hello, Jeplin. This account gotta be bought. I welcome you. They are kind of sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. It seems more like Tilt, though. I don't know. Holy Gifted. Thank you for the three years, man. Appreciate the long-term subs, guys. Hold on. Let me focus up for Drake fight real quick. We could definitely win a team fight now. The last few have been kind of uh, sketchy. But I feel like this fight we have way more potential to win. That's a big fear. Oh yeah, team fights are way better now. We're scaling up. Wait, he used a smite? I don't think he should have smited the dragon. We could have done Baron. That's so sketchy now though. I might be able to kill this can. He doesn't really have anywhere to go, does he? Is he just like running through the walls or something? Where is he? Okay, nice. Maybe we could Baron. They might try to fight here though. Oh, my fruits. They're trying to put me on a diet. Not a look. 
Nice. It like didn't really follow all the way, but still rooted him. Wow, well played, dude. We just got so much tempo. That was kind of insane. I'm thinking Guardian Angel last item. Actually, Grudge is pretty good too, though. They have a decent chunk of armor. Either Grudge or Guardian Angel. Nice, he wins 1v1 versus Swain now. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I got Flash up. This is our wave to go in on. Our Nautilus should be with us though, not with the Graves. They were all so close to dying. Somebody's going to get TF ported on. Uh-oh. That's probably going to be a pick. Their CC chain is pretty nasty. Oh my gosh, I got so many active items right now. Oh, dude, this is perfect. Come on, grinder. Ignite hard counter, Swen. Dude, I canceled him with that ward. That's the ward tech right there. I canceled his lantern click. Look, it, he took off an HP on it. So good. Yeah, maybe bot tower. Ending is sketchy. Especially against a Thresh with so much CC. I guess I'll just stick around. We don't really need a back. This is a good place to fight. Really nice fight, too. Oh, man, I thought he'd be back in there. Did he really go to the try? Thought he was definitely going to be back in there. Nice. Good comeback game, though, dude. Actually, really nice. My team was trying to surrender too. GG's. Even with a tilted bot lane, can still win.
That Aerie play, I probably should have honored Aerie though, actually. That play she made at Baron really saved the game. Nice, Diamond 2, man. Getting close to Masters. 32k damage, not too shabby. Darius actually had a lot of damage, wow. Oh my gosh, what's going on in this chat, dude? Everybody hates Twisted Fate as a champion, which honestly, I do too, man. He just doesn't bring the damage. Alright, Maokai top lane. Should be pretty good. Wow, he has a DRX skin. I forgot about that. Did DRX... They didn't play Maokai top lane in Worlds, did they? I think they played him jungle. I think that was when Maokai jungle was made up. Top lane is kind of rare to see. Hey, good to see a tomato. Wow, that skin looks nice, dude. Holy moly. That actually looks intense. Nice, we got so many shotguns, too. Whoa. I think I live. Nice, that's so good. Let's just TP back. Kindred Flash. Actually, you know what? I think we should get enough for Cole and then TP back. I think that's the play here. Because I really want early Cull versus Maokai. Extra, sus extra sustain, extra gold. So good versus a tank matchup. Why is this thing not going on me? Wow, the sapling explosion looks sick with that too. Our Rengar is taking his whole bot side too, that's so nice. Punishing the field top gank. Oh, I thought I had my key for some reason. Oh my gosh. I knew that was going to happen. Alright, sweep. We're actually going to have pretty good damage. I'm glad he didn't have a sapling to cancel me. Oh, you've been sober with League Tomato? I've actually been really enjoying League. I feel like I'm going to enjoy it way more when the uh, when the jungle nerfs hit. I'm hoping that will slow the game down a little bit. Just be nice for top lane. The game doesn't need to be, like, super slow-paced, but if they can just slow it down a little bit, it's definitely good for Urgot. Wow, Kindred up here again. Wave is kind of scuffed right now, too. If I see the Maokai just start running at me, then chances are Kindred's looking for the gank. Hey, welcome in, Demon Miner. It sucks to play like this, but I I gotta just be super patient here. Because Kindred's probably in our jungle right now, our top side. Maybe I can get this guy to, like, cue the wave a little bit. I'm probably dead, yeah. 
Man, I just have to be at tower in that case. It sucks. He's actually just sitting there for so long. It is what it is, man. It's either AFK at tower or just die, I guess. Hate when junglers play like that. I should respect it, though. That's my fault. I need to get better at that. It's such a crappy situation when your jungle can't help you out, though, because, like, he's just going to freeze like this for so long. Sucks he was able to sweep my ward. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's almost... Sometimes you want to int just to fix your wave. This guy's still holding the freeze, though. They're going to try to gank me again. This is the biggest downside of Ergot and Diamond. You just get freaking camped, dude. People just freeze on you. Call for jungle help. If this doesn't happen, I usually win my land. But if this happens, there's just not much I can do. Alright. We're just going to go for the wave push. I have to. If he queues the mages, it's really good here. He's queuing away. Alright, we should be good now. I just have to not mess it up with my shotguns. Man, it feels like Kindred is, like, permanently up here. I don't know if I'm just paranoid, but I kind of feel like I have the right to be. The mark is on Gromp right now, too. That's a weird engage by him. Man, this wave is still not fixed. The guy's last hitting only when they're like really really low Shut down. definitely stalling for kindred Oh my gosh, they messed up. Oh, I should have went for Maokai, though. Oh, the Kindred and Maokai are pre-made? Okay. I mean, it's not even good for them to play like this. It's obviously... It shuts me down, but... It's not good to camp for a Maokai land. It's just annoying. It's just annoying. That's all it is. You get a lot of these games when you play versus tanks, though, in, in Diamond. Like, even when they're not pre-mid. This happens so much with Ergot versus tanks for me. Because they do have good jungle setup, so if they get the jungle fed, it, it can be good. Yeah, actually, I take that back. It can be good if the jungle gets all the kills. It's just not good in the sense where, like, I'm still going to outscale Maokai once I get Cleaver, no matter what. No matter how much of a lead you give him. But if Kindred is actually benefiting, then it's it's not bad. We're doing a good job surviving, though. Only one death right now is actually really good. Sometimes you just have to play really safe and just get weak-sided on top lane. Like, sometimes that's literally your win condition as a top laner. It's good he bought a Cinder, too, now. Really hard for him to freeze. He should die here. Kindred's no ulti. Ooh. I have snipe pretty soon, maybe. Okay, nice. 
That's a little something for Rengar, at least. Executed. What the heck? Executed by a minion? Interesting. They could try to dive me if I ever stay here. I'll just go for a port back. Looks like Kindred is marking somebody else. Oh wait, he's marking me. So he was looking for a top lane dive there. Or at least trying to scare me, maybe. Man, even with a red buff, I don't really hurt that much. I need level 9 so bad. My champion just can't beat tanks until level 9 and maybe Cleaver as well. Please don't kill me. Okay, nice. I really want to get my Cleaver though. I think it's too greedy to stay, sadly. It sucks to back here and just buy nothing though. Okay, nice, we got him. He got greedy. Nice, that's huge right now. Now we get our cleaver. Sweet. Honestly, only 20 CS down with that mega freeze. That's not bad at all. We got our cleaver now. It's crabbing time. Ooh, nice cleanse with the W. Wow, even the Thresh is up here now. Oh, everybody's up here. Holy moly. Nice, he wasn't in the circle. Gosh, that guy has a lot of damage. Oh, the double pull. Dang, good try. That was close to being good. Action solo killed Maokai. Wow, nice. I think he's a little too fast. We should definitely fight for Shelly, though. I think we can win a team fight. Hey, how's it going, Meltic? You swear that game announcer tilts people? I think you can mute her if you want to. I kind of like the game announcer, though. One time I had a bug where, like, everything was muted like that. And the game felt kind of weird. Your team has destroyed a turret. 
I think there is a way to turn her off. I don't know if you can, like, select it only for enemy kills, though. Probably just turns it off completely. Will it be a 1v1? If he's running like this, probably not. Yeah, I knew it. He started fighting. I got nothing for that. Man, that guy literally does not leave top lane. Like, I know they're duo, but you would think you would leave a little bit. He is always up here. It's a freaking Maokai top lane too, man. Ooh, that sucks. An ally has been slain. Yeah, that's true. Good thing it is Maokai. And good thing we're still... We're not, like, feeding, which is nice. It's been kind of hard to farm, but he's also not farming very good. It's just hard to play how I want to play this game. Our team is kind of far away, dude. I don't think we can do anything here. I don't know why the team is so far away, though. Oh my god, I got it with Q, dude. No shot I get that with Q. I'm actually so good at stealing those with Q for some reason. Whoa, dude. We were blocking for you. Wait, how does Blitz get the kill? What? Oh, Ignite. I don't know if Thresh has Flash. He kind of looks like he might. The way he's posturing. I'm trying to bait something. I still have my E. Urgot's really good at baiting these situations. Oh, nice. Action TP. Nice, dude. Not even a TP, just a rotation, I guess. That's super good for us. We should try to get this quick, dudes. Fighting here is very questionable, man. Just rush the Shelly, guys. Do not need to fight. That's fine. As long as we get it, it's chill. Let me get some farm. I need a cash in my call still. They're really going to make me greed for it, aren't they? I guess we see pretty much everybody. Brandoons is really good this game. I gotta get, get my stride breaker first though. Are you the only one thinking AP Blitz is kind of questionable? Yeah, it kind of is. I mean, at least he has Everfrost for the utility, I guess, but... I guess because we're kind of full AD, he wanted some AP damage. I'm guessing that's his reasoning. Which I can kind of respect. Oh, 
I got the jungle this time. How does it feel, Maokai? Hit him with the thumbs up. I can be a little bit toxic after that camp. Uh, what do you know? My gosh, the bot lane is here too, though. Dang, I had E in one second. Bot lane is rotating a lot too this game, actually. Wow, he didn't. I thought he would one shot the mouse for sure. Mouse's tank build, though. Okay, the revive? Mouse wants to TP back in. Oh my gosh. tried dude the sunfire burn was doing a lot I think this is overall pretty good though isn't it if we get dragon which I think they should be able to just rush it that would have been really good if I landed that snipe on Mal's this could get pretty dicey uh-oh. Our action is really good. That dragon dropped to one HP, dude. So close. Kaisa threw W at it, maybe. They could actually go for a Baron Rush. I don't think I can show bot lane here. I think they're gonna try Baron Rush. I don't know if we can stop this. That Blitz needs to kick it into full gear. It's not bad. I should have ulted sooner. I thought we were gonna burst him though. Definitely should have ulted right away there. If we stop the Baron, it's okay. Oh, maybe this guy can revive us. Oh, the Maokite? Oh, no, the Caitlyn killed me. Wait, she died, though. How come I didn't get a revive? I guess action didn't kill her. I thought he did, but I guess not. Man, Action Revive is such a good ability. Nice, good stuff. Let's go bot here. Actually, let me get Stride first. This is way better. Because we're going to be side laning for a little while and probably I'm, I'm probably just going to have to TP in if there's a team fight. Most likely. Oh yeah, an ARM that action revive is super broken. I've won so many ARMs off that. It's honestly pretty broken in Summoner's Rift too. Like a revive in the late game is just crazy. It is smart they're sending Mal's against me though. 
much harder to deal with than a Maokai. If I get his shield off, there we go. We can try to look for a flash play here pretty soon. Perfect timing. I canceled his ulti. Nice, that's massive, dude. My team is kind of winning too, it looks like. They still got that 14 kill Caitlyn alive. I think we just go for this. My team is distracting. Can I kill her with ulti? These cannon minions might actually help out here. Might make the difference. Wow, she's so fast. I might be dead now. Let's queue for the heroic gate passive here. Another reason why Stride is so good, you can use it to just run away. You proc that heroic gate, just get free 20 movement speed. Randoons into stone plate will probably be the build here. We got enough damage, I just need to get beefy or get tanky. Oh my gosh, that guy's not even a tank first action. I guess we just end the game. GG. Wow, nice top lane camp by them. That did not pay off. It did kind of annoy me in lane a little bit, but honestly wasn't too bad. It's just, it's annoying when your wave gets frozen like that because you need jungle to bail you out in that situation. That's where I get annoyed. I don't mind if I'm not getting many kills, but it's annoying when you can't farm on her gut. Oh my gosh. Whoa, dude, we better end the game. GG's. Um, I don't think so, Spookshire. I think Fleet will still be good in the matchups where it's good. Or at least better than Grasp. Yeah, the action revive into uh, Baron play. That kind of won us the game, to be honest. Nice, we still have pretty good damage. 23k. It's actually really solid. Especially in a game like that. 